John Rounds here with SUP on the Fly. Just wanted to put a quick video together in response to the overwhelming number of messages we received after we posted the pictures yesterday introducing the new SUP on the Fly custom board cooler. A lot of those questions were around uh, how, how we had mounted uh, the tracks, the accessories, etc. So uh, just real quickly, uh, what we've done here is we've taken uh, the Bison cooler, they did a, a custom graphic for us and the thing we love about these coolers, one of them is, is that the thickness of the walls are such that we can use the uh, Yak Attack gear tracks for an eight inch with the screws that we selected can be mounted into the cooler and, and maintain the integrity of the cooler. Once you've got these tracks in their strategic locations, both vertically and horizontally, uh, depending on the size of the cooler, then it opens up a ton of options with uh, retractable gear tracks, um, the uh, panfish portrait dog bone and regular that uh, allow you to have lots of options for camera mounts. Uh, of course, your spinning and fly rod mounts and items like uh, cup holders. And so those combined with uh, the board that we're using, which is the board fish, bad fisher, it's a multi-chamber technology it's incredibly stable. We also like the deck layout uh, with the bungees in the front and back for gear. And then uh, the built-in Scotty pads open up some additional opportunities to be able to uh, add camera mounts or fly rod holders or spinning rod. And uh, the flexibility with what you can do for the various conditions and the type of fishing you do is, is unlimited. So uh, feel free to drop us a note and uh, happy to answer any questions, steer you in the right direction. Uh, all of these items, including uh, the cushion pad for the cooler, is uh, available on our site at suponthefly.com. And uh, we're here to answer any questions. Happy, uh, happy paddling and tight lines.